Team Nidori Nars and Nidori Nose. It is King Nido here, and um, today we are in Cinnabar Island where the Flare are hosting the San Lorenzo Swamp. And so far this season, both these sites are having a terrible time, and they want to end that day as Shuffle and Orbit will come out for the Swamp. And it's Rapidash and Arcanine coming out for the Flare, and immediately Rapidash goes for the Stomping Tantrum onto Orbital. Not very effective on the bug type Pokemon there, as Arcanine sets up for a Shadow Force so it instantly vanishes from the field as Orbital goes for the sweet Speed Swap and goes for Rapidash. So it's actually going to become the quickest Pokemon on the field as Shuckle with the Cosmic Power is going to give a boost to both its physical and special defenses and it already has 230 base in both those categories as the avalanche from Orbital will miss Arcanine allowing Arcanine to come in with that shadow force and go straight in for Shuckle even getting a good hit after those boosted defenses followed up by a strength as well from Rapidash but not very effective not doing much damage there Shuckle now with the tea time everybody's going to slow down here and everyone's going to dig into those leopard berries that they've all got which allows me the time to tell you how both these sides have lost seven games this season both have only won two so whoever loses this will be on the bottom of the ladder you have to assume which will put them in prime position to end up with that twisted spoon at the end of the season as orbital now is going to go for the u-turn on to rapidash very little damage being not very effective there. Orbital will go back to the bench, don't be confused. It is still in this matchup, but out in its place comes Excelgore. It's Arcanine going with the Magical Leaf onto Shuckle, trying to capitalize on the Rock type, and it has Rapidash with the Bullet Punch, though. Much more successful, super effective, although the little amount of damage for a super effective attack, but a nasty plot now. Coming from Shuckle is going to boost that special attack a great deal. And Excelgore going for the Astonish here onto Rapidash, doing a little bit of damage. Arcanine, though, with the Bug Bite onto the Bug type Pokemon is going to steal its Leopard Berry. Arcanine getting its second Leopard Berry of the matchup. Good hit there on Excelgore as well as Rapidash follows it up with the submission. It will get some recoil damage, but did get a good hit with the not very effective attack there. As now Shuckle sets up a Misty Terrain, so this Mist will swirl over the battlefield here. See if anyone goes to capitalize on some fairy attacks in the meantime. But now this will allow Excelgore to go for its move. See what it goes with. It does go for the Nightshade onto Arcanine here. The big fiery puppet taking its first damage of the matchup. And it responds with a Liquidation going for Shuckle with this move. And Shuckle is holding on after that super effective hit as the Overheat is avoided by Excelgore from Rapidash, which would have been super effective. Clanging Scales from Shuckle hits both fire type Pokemon. Shuckle does lower its defenses, but it is an easy target as Excelgore with the Avalanche now onto Arcanine. Arcanine was able to avoid one of those not very effective attacks earlier, but Arcanine now with the Bolt Beak going for Excelgore, and Excelgore is the first Pokemon eliminated from this matchup. I thought it was going to go for Shuckle, but Rapidash now with the Burn Up, and this is going to complete a huge play. Both Pokemon from the Bug Types taken out in the one turn. This will burn Rapidash out in the meantime, but coming back out onto the field is Orbital, and it is joined by Santa Scorch. The part fire type is Arcanine with the Draco Meteor, and that bell will toll for Santa Scorch as the Draco Meteor comes down onto the bug fire type. This will also lower that special attack of Arcanine here. And the Rock Blast is avoided by Arcanine which allows Rapidash to go for the Shockwave and connect with Orbital as Santa Scorch goes for the super effective Water Shuriken. It surely wants to get enough hits to take out Arcanine here. It's got two, and it only gets two of those super effective hits, which will keep Arcanine in this matchup, who now goes for the Mind Reader. This will take aim at Orbital with that, as Orbital with the Wood Hammer going for the Puppy Dog. Not very effective attack, Arcanine is able to hold on and Orbital does get the recoil damage but Rapidash goes for the lick onto Santa Scorch and Santa Scorch is going to respond with the swift hitting Rapidash but eliminating Arcanine as well. First elimination for the Santa Swarm as that mist does disappear from the field and out comes Magmortar for the Cinnabar Flare. Orbital immediately going for the Grave Bird though onto Magmortar. Good hit there, does some... Orbital gets some more recoil damage, and the Sleep Powder is avoided by Santa Scorch from Rapidash as Magmortar sets up some spikes. So any Sandalone Swarm Pokemon that comes onto the field and lands in those will take damage from those spikes as Santa Scorch goes for the Iron Defense here. It is going to give a boost to that defense as Orbital now going for a Shockwave of its own onto Magmortar, continuing to go for the Fire Type Pokemon. Good hit there as well as Magmorta going for the Magnemarize with that Electromagnetism, it will begin to levitate. 
And Scepter Scorch now with the Leer. This is going to lower the defenses of the Fire type Pokemon, making them both easier for physical targets for the Bug types. As now we have Orbital going with the skill swap. It will be switching in its ability with Magmorta. So Orbital Swarm goes to Magmorta and Orbital picks up the Vital Spirit, switching those abilities. And Rapidash now with the Tackle. They're going for some very basic moves. Are some of the Pokemon connecting with Orbeetle as Magmorta follows it up with a Body Slam, but Orbeetle holds on and a high jump kick is avoided by Magmorta. And Santa Scorch gets huge recoil damage because of that, allowing Rapidash to go for the gunk shot onto Santa Scorch and gets the easy elimination, capitalizing on that recoil damage. A fantastic play there by the Cinnabar Flare. It's Orbeetle with the Fairy Wind going for Rapidash. Rapidash able to take that hit really well. Dragon Tail though onto Orbeetle. And they've picked up another huge play in this matchup on the center in Swarm as Heracross and Volcarona come out as the last two Pokemon for the Swarm. The Flare are doing awesome in this matchup. Both bug types are landing in those spikes and taking damage, but Volcarona with the Flatter. This is going to leave Magmortar confused, but does give a really good boost there to that special attack. Magmortar already has a huge 125 base special attack, but now Rapidash with the Energy Ball on to Volcarona, another bug fire type on the field for the Swarm as Heracross with the Fury Cutter on the Magmortar, good hit there for a not very effective attack, but Magmorta is confused, it will need to shake it off, it goes for the Poison Tail here on to Volcarona, good hit there, Rapidash, sorry Volcarona though is going to respond with the Crush Claw and gets an elimination there on Magmortar. Centillion Swarm doing everything they can, but Rapidash with the Aerial Ace, Volcarona holds on after that super effective hit, and its Flame Body is going to leave Rapidash with a burn, it's not very often you see a Fire type Pokemon with a burn, but Rapidash does avoid the Giga Impact from Heracross, as now out comes Dumanitan for the Cinnabar Flare in its shiny form, it's a 2 versus 4 battle in the way of the Flare, they have the advantage. And immediately Volcarona goes for the not very effective hit on Dumanitan that does lower its special defense, Dimantan though responds with the Whirlpool. This should eliminate Volcarona and that it does. Heracross is all by itself after that super effective attack on the bug flying type. Rapidash immediately goes for the Psy Beam onto Heracross. This will be super effective due to that fighting typing that it has and Heracross responds with the Shadow Ball going for Dimantan. That Shadow Ball continuing to grow. Rapidash takes damage from the burn but Dimantan with its Zen Mode ability will change into that triggered Zen mode. Dimantan being triggered by Heracross here, but Rapidash with the slack off will restore its health. This will keep it in the matchup for longer due to that burn. Surely would have taken it out, but Slam is avoided by Dimantan from Heracross. Dimantan with the Growl. This will lower the attack stat of Heracross. Heracross having that 125 base as well. And there's Rapidash still taking damage from the burn. It sets up the Stealth Rocks, but they are useless now because and Santa Lynn Swarm are down to their last Pokemon. No one else will be coming off the bench, but Heracross goes for the Drain Punch onto Rapidash and gets the elimination. A fantastic hit there by Heracross, doing exactly what it has to do to keep itself in this matchup. It gets the elimination. It gets some health back. That is fantastic. Darmanitan, though, with the Zen Headbutt. Another super effective attack on Heracross. And Heracross would have been eliminated if it hadn't restored its health, but Magma comes out and immediately goes for a Mist Ball onto Heracross. And this will finish it off. This is the fifth game in a row that the Santaloon Swarm have lost. They are on the bottom of the ladder, still unable to move. And the Cinnabar Flare have walked out with the victory. They stay in 16th place, but get those much needed points as we are in the later stages of this season. And their next matchup will be against the Doofle Combats. We're currently in 17th place, so this is fantastic for the Cinnabar Flare. And the next matchup will actually be the Doofle Combats taking on the Blues Dragonids. Also, the Santa Lane Swarm's next matchup will be against the Hard Home Hornets. We're currently sitting at the top of the leaderboard as the Opalist of Dragons try to work their way back in the lead for the Doofy Combats, try to work their way, their way away from the bottom of the ladder. But until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe, but more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.